Hey guys and welcome back to the YouTube video. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to perform face recognition and detection on any image in Python that you want. Now this script that I wrote that I'm going to be allowing you guys to download for free in the description down below will show you how you can detect any faces that you want. So not just Donald Trump, it could be a face of you, it could be a face of your friend, it could be a face of celebrities, any faces that you want and as many as you want in any image that you want to use. So very useful script and I'm going to be walking you guys through first of all just how to install and actually run the script because it does have a few dependencies and then how you can modify it to work in your own setting for your own projects. So a little bit less of a tutorial and more of kind of a showcase and how to use the script. Uh, but hopefully you guys get some value from this. And if you do, definitely hit the like button and let me know in the comments down below. So anyways, right now you can see I have this script and what it does is just draw boxes around faces and then tries to identify which ones they are based on a list of faces that it's given. So you can see that right now, if you go to the link in the description, there'll be a link. It should be titled like download code or something like that. That. And once you do that, if you download um, the zip file that will be there, you'll get a zip file called facerec.zip. If you extract that and open up the folder, you should see four files that look like this. Now what you're going to do is you're going to place any image inside of this main directory here. So inside of face recognition called test.jpg and this will be the, the file or the image that your program is going to try to find the faces in and detect which ones they are. Now inside of this faces folder is where you're going to put your known faces. So whatever faces you want to try to detect or recognize, you're going to put them in here and you're just going to label them whatever face they are. So in this case, you can see that mine says Bill Gates. And if I were to rename this, um, what all you essentially do is you just call them Bill Gates at whatever the name of the image is here, Donald Trump, Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, Obama. So currently my program that I have can detect these five people and no one else. So just put all of the people in here that you want to try to detect. And then if it sees something that looks similar to that person, well, it will detect it and it will put it up on the screen. Otherwise, like you've seen before, it'll just show unknown, but it will still tell you where the face in the image is. All right. Now you can also see that I have a script here, which is what you're actually going to run to run this program. And there's a requirements.txt file, which shows you the Python uh, modules that you need to install. Now, before we can install this, and it's very easy the way that I've set this up for you guys, we just need to install a C++ compiler for our computer. So the way that we do this is you're going to go to another link I have in the description description and you're going to download Visual Studio 2019 Community Edition. So this free version here. So I'm just going to click free download and I already have this downloaded, but I'm going to walk through the steps with you guys to make sure that you get this correct. So once you download this, click keep run this installer, wait for it to go through this install process. And then it's going to bring you to a menu where it's going to ask you to install some specific packages and you're going to have to choose which ones. So once we get to there, I'm going to show you which ones to pick and then we'll move on to actually looking at the code after that. All right. So now I'm in here since I already have mine installed, it looks a little bit different, but if I click modify, it should bring up a similar menu to what you guys are going to see and what you need to select here is simply desktop development with C++. So this is the only package you guys need for this program to work. This is about six gigabytes of file. So it will take a few minutes to install, but just click on this and then click install. Now I already have mine installed, so obviously I'm not going to do that. But once you finish that, you're going to restart your computer and then you're going to follow the steps that I'm about to outline now. All right, so let's close these. And now what we're going to do is we need to get inside of this directory right here. So wherever face recognition is, wherever you've extracted this file from, and you're just going to type CMD. Now it's going to pop up a command prompt window. And what we're going to do is now try to install the Python modules that this project needs. Now, before we do this, we have to make sure that we're running a 64 bit version of Python. If you if you don't know to check what version you're using, just go to uninstall so add or remove pro programs, my bad, sorry, on Windows 10, you're going to scroll down to wherever it says P, so Python here, and just check what bit version of Python you're using. Again, it must be a 64 bit. If you're not using a 64 bit version of Python, you can uninstall your current version of Python and install a 64 bit version or just install a 64 bit version and use that for installing all your packages into that. All right, so once you've done that, now you're just going to type pip install hyphen R and then requirements.txt. Again, since we're in this directory face recognition, and you can see that by just looking here to make sure this is the correct folder, what it's going to do is just automatically install all of those modules that I've listed, making it really easy for you guys. So you're going to hit enter 
enter like that. Now I already have them installed, so mine just kind of whizzed through this, but yours will take a few minutes to install. Now, if you have any issues with this, leave a comment down below as there is a few problems that you could run into, but as long as you have that C++ installed and you have a 64-bit version of Python, you shouldn't run into any issues. All right, so now that we've done that, it's actually time to just run the code. Now to run the code is really easy. All you do is just type Python and then the name of that file. So face recognition.py and then it will load up the file for you and start doing that face recognition. Now it does take a second to boot up, but there you go. We get Donald Trump and it's recognizing that face. Now, if you wanted to change the face again, all you do is you go here and just modify this file name to or modify this file so you put a new file called test.jpg and then it will load up that file the next time and do the face recognition on that all right so now that you i've showed you guys how to use this program i'm going to show you how this code works just very minimally so that if you want to try to modify it or use it in your own python projects you'll have an idea of how to do that so right now i'm just going to run through some of the functions so what this first function does here is get encoded faces Essentially, it reads through all of the faces, if I can find them here, inside of this faces folder, and it simply encodes all those faces into a format that the machine learning model that's inside of face recognition can use and um, actually, like, yeah, use to detect our faces, essentially. Now, it's important that you just name these faces in here what they are. So in this case, I've named this Obama.jpg, Jeff Bezos.jpg, Elon Musk.jpg because that's how it's actually going to label your faces based on whatever labels you've put here. All right, so that's what encoded faces does. It just reads through that entire, entire folder. Unknown image encoding simply gets whatever the image name it's given and encodes that into a format that, again, our machine learning model can read and will return that. Same with this, returning that as well. Now, what classify face does is all it does is take the name of an image. So in this case, you can see down here, I'm calling it and giving it test.jpg. So that's the name of the file that I want to do the face recognition for. And then it's going to bring up that box and do the detection and show you what face is which. But it's also going to return to you a list of faces. So if you see here, uh, when I ran this, it gave me Donald Trump and unknown. So I can actually see which faces are in my image. Now in here, what's happening is we start by getting all the encoded faces as faces. So we call this function. Then we start by actually turning these into a list and into all of the names because this is returned as a dictionary. So we say faces encoded is all of the values and the names of all those faces are all of the keys. Then what we do is we read in the image that we've been given. So in this case, test.jpg. If we wanted to, we could resize it by using these two lines, which I've just commented out because I'm not doing that right now. Then we find all of the locations of the face in our images in our image by simply passing IMG, which again is read in by OpenCV, and it's going to find all of those locations for our faces. Then what we do is we encode our unknown face, which is going to be that test.jpg image again. And now what we do is simply compare all of the faces that we know against the faces in the images and see if any of them are the same. Now, if they are, what we do is we draw that little box and we write the name of the face. Otherwise, we're just going to write unknown. And that is simply how this works. Now, this part right here, this for loop is responsible for actually drawing on the image. If you were to remove this, your program would still work. It just wouldn't draw anything on the image. It would simply just return to you the names of the faces that are in that image. And that is essentially how this works. I'm not going to go through much more of it, but if you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know. I hope that you guys can get this script working and it's super useful and kind of interesting to be able to play with and see where it's limited and how it works. But a massive thank you to whoever wrote this face recognition module because it's super useful and simply allows people like me who maybe aren't machine learning experts to use face recognition in all of their programs. And something that I'm personally using this for is a security system where what it's doing is tracking when certain people come into certain areas and kind of comparing those video footages and storing that and all that fun stuff. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys in another video.